Hi, we are Team 7182 Mechanical Paradox. I'm Eilish, and today we'll be talking about GoBuilder's new mechanisms. As many of you know, GoBuilder recently released all new mechanisms with incredible improvements and modifications to the design. For starters, the yellow rollers have been replaced with black ones, while the black metal siding is now flaunting GoBuilder's fabulous yellow. Beyond adding new sleekness to the design, the black rollers won't show nearly as much wear and tear as the older ones did. Additionally, the new Mechanum wheels are significantly more narrow than their older model. The new Mechanums are only 38 millimeters wide, granting you 21 millimeters. For those of you who prefer the Imperial system, that's 0.826 inches of extra room not consumed by the wheel width. There is also a slight dip between the roller width and the central portion of the wheel, allowing hubs to be attached without seriously impacting the width of the wheel structure. The diameter of the wheel is still around 96 millimeters, so the narrow width does not have a major impact on the movement of the robot. The biggest benefit of mechanical wheels is the omnidirectional movement. Gabilda mechanics in particular have exceptionally smooth movement, which makes strafing much more consistent and reliable, and we have never experienced any jamming of the rollers. Additionally, the siding of the rollers is attached to limit the impact of the metal and the mats of the field, which prevent any floor damage from strafing or otherwise moving with the heavy robot on the field. Here, we've got a CAD model of a drive chain with the old mechanic wheels. And here, we've got a CAD model of a drive chain with the newer mechanic wheels. If you look at both, the newer wheels are significantly narrower, and therefore they use minimal space for the drivetrain, allowing for maximal space to be given to the actual robot. The drivetrain space in comparison is 110 millimeters for the old wheels versus 85 millimeters for the new. There are two primary ways of powering your mechanum wheel. The first is what's called a live axle, where the axle is attached to a bearing and can free spin. The benefit of this is that it can save space due to the sprocket being away from the wheel. The second option is called a dead axle, rather than there being a bearing on the ends of the axle, there is instead a clamping hub. Along with this, the sprocket is attached directly to the wheel. The benefit of this is that it makes your wheels more powerful. The reason for this is because it, uh, the power has less transition, it goes from the motor to the chain to the sprocket, rather than from the sprocket to the axle to the hub. As with any wheels, it's important to make sure you take proper care of your mechanisms. When not actively driving the robot around, try and keep your drivetrain elevated and supported by the metal structure of the drivetrain, relieving excess strain on the wheels. We use this wood structure to support all of our robots, but you can even create simple DIY supports using parts from previous games. If you want to know more about how to power your wheels, we also have made bevel gear and chain videos, which are two different options with different benefits for your wheels. The link for those two videos are in the description or at the end of the video. Also, feel free to reach out to us with any questions using our email, Instagram, or other social media. We'd also like to thank our fabulous sponsor, GoBuilda, for all they have done for our team. Please take some time to check out their website and buy your mechanics today. Thanks for watching!